All right, everybody. Uh, just gonna have some fun here at the woods. Um, been wanting a project to do. Um, I picked up this skid at work. It's a pallet. Uh, we get glass on. Um, I don't know. It's over nine foot, maybe eight foot long. So my game plan is is this section right here has always been a muddy mess in this woods. This trail I got through here. And I've always just fought with it. Um, so this is kind of a main trail I got going through the center of the woods. And uh, so I'm going to lay that pallet down right over top of that. I think it'll be long enough and help me get across this muddy area. Um, so yeah, I'll, let me get that baby unloaded and see if I can build a bridge. I tried backing it back in here, but too tight for the car trailer so all right and then uh it was pretty cool i had an email um from a gentleman the name escapes me right now uh he wanted me to talk about my uh log skitter a little bit more uh so i brought a tape measure and um i'll get it down and get it hooked up and i'll, I'll make some measurements and stuff and kind of do a little video on the on the skitter a little bit more um i mean it was a, just a trailer i don't know just like a utility trailer at first so anyhow let me get this skit off and uh let me get my bridge kind of laid down and uh get back here yeah perfect so now i won't uh tear up the woods <coughs> i don't own this woods, so uh, they're nice enough to let me cut in it and uh, that'll help from digging that low spot up. I've added logs in it. You can see the logs in it over the years. and So this is going to work out pretty good. Maybe I'll even put some stuff in between there. We'll just see how the four-wheeler goes over it. So, all right. Let's go get the four-wheeler and the arch out. And uh, I'm going to show you a little bit on it. And... Uh, Let's see if I can get a little bit log. There's Chance. Just digging everything. What's he got? Huh? What do you think? Is there something in there, bud? Huh? Yeah, it might be. You like that, don't you? Might have to cut that up for him just to... <laughs> Easy. <laughs> oh, he loves being out here. All right. Let's, uh, let's get the four-wheeler off. And uh all right, so what we got uh from the front of the ball the hitch to this little uh little degree a uh, little uh, beaver tail I guess you'd call it or I don't, I'm not sure what they call that from the from the ball up there to that is about 25 24 25 and then that arch degree is 16 down to the trailer uh, the trailers roughly 10. 10 to 9 off the ground. Uh, the wheels are the small. Um, oh shoot, what size are they? They're the 8, is that 18 by 8.5 by 8? 18 by 8.5 by 8. Um, so the width of the trailers 21. 44 45 I guess you know at this highest longest point out there this is actually a torsion bar torsion suspension um, this back piece was part of the back of the trailer 
So I cut it off, brought it up here. That's about 15, 16 up high off of the deck of the trailer. Um, and then I put a pulley on it. So from ground to the pulley's 32. So, you know, I could haul potentially a uh, two foot round piece, get it up off the ground. Um, and then I built these things here to protect the tires because once the log gets lifted, it bangs up the back of that. Um, you know, like I said, it had brakes on it. And like I said, it was a trailer with a torsion bar. Uh, I would imagine like a little mower trailer. Um, you know, and, and then I put a Harbor Freight winch on it. Uh, I got a deep cycle battery. And then what I did for now is I run cables um, from the battery to the four-wheeler battery. So that way this battery never wears down. It's always charging when the four-wheeler is running. Um, so let's see from where the logs hit back air to the bottom of that tongue there is about 32. So we got 32 by 44. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure what other information. Uh, I didn't have to build none of this stuff. This was already on there. Um, like I said, I think it was already a little lawnmower trailer. Um, this was the back of the trailer. I cut it off the back and just used it as the upright. Put a metal pulley on it. Uh, I have a hard time keeping the pulley on there, but you just got to watch when you're winding it up that it's on the pulley. Um, so, well, let's get it hooked up. I don't. Hopefully, that helps that guy. All right, got a couple little little ash trees there, but I just noticed this one here. So, let's get this thing down and get it logged. Oh yeah, that's what I've been looking for, one of those. So, ideally, be nice to bring it towards the four-wheeler. So it's already going that way.
piece. I hope you can see that. this is is you can't get back to it you can actually drag them to it so I think I might grab the farthest one first
by a 16 foot piece. So this is a pretty good example. So, you know, there's the there's the ash that I got down, and you know, you just I just want to just get it out. So let's just pull it off. But you don't want to cut a huge path to get, it, to get in there. So Setting up on the tire. Yeah, let's give it a wiggle. If I wanted to, I could let it out and pull out a little bit. 